Oh, what the heck is that? This can't be good. What is this? Oh, shoot. Oh! <laughs> Let's get these guys. I EMP'd all of them. Okay, so today is Thursday and I'm really excited because today is Dreamhangers Day and well, let's take a look at the first comment. So we have the first comment here coming from Warbots and Warbots is calling this the Bulletstorm Dreamhanger. So all of these bots have the new homing uh, bullets. That is a lot of damage output. So we're going to see how this actually does. We've got the Behemoth, Favnir, Arachi, Hades, Fury and also the Miramets. And well, as you can see, we've got the behemoth here with Smooter. So we have the nuclear amplifier and repair amplifier. I think that's what you requested. So we have, uh, you know, both of those amplifiers actually on all of the uh, the bots. So that should be kind of interesting to see how that does. We've got the Favnir here with Razdor. I have a feeling this Favnir is going to die really quickly because I don't have a last stand on here and I guess I could replace the anti-control with a last stand but I'm gonna try it with the you know this setup here we've got the Arachi with the Smooter this could actually be pretty deadly to other Arachis because you have that uh, 500 meter range you can curve it around corners just in case you know because Arachis like hiding uh, we've got the Hades here with the Smooter and Kramala This is probably the strongest build for the Hades, I think, at this point. And uh, we've got the Fury with uh, more Smooters. Okay, so this is kind of, um, I guess, a toned down version of the Behemoth. Um, but yeah, still a lot of damage output. And then lastly, we have the Miramets with Machine Guns. Now, I know the Miramets with Basilisk and Crate can do a ton of damage, but I'm pretty sure this build can do a ton of damage as well. And we do have four Cannibal Reactors on here. So I think this build could potentially take out a maxed out Luchador in one flight. If I get the EMP right, uh, we can probably do that. And I'm hoping we get some gameplay of that as well. So uh, yeah, that's going to be our hangar for the first game. Let's drop into the first game and let's see how we do with Warbot's Dream Hangar. Okay, so game one, we have dropped in on Abyss map. And I have started with the Arachi first. I'm going to try to take out some of those players back there. Um, this guy, oh shoot, I'm trying to get to this beacon, this other guy has the same idea. Let's see if we can maybe get this beacon, although they have a couple of players with QR. If I can take out this Arachi, there we go. I think I'm going to get killed here though, there's too many of them. I'm trying to focus on this guy maybe. Can we get this Strider? Maybe, there we go. Oh! I only have one Smooter on here. And now they have a Revenant. Yeah, there's no ways. Okay, so I think what I should do next is drop in with the... Maybe the Fury. I need to get out of this bot. Just trying to help out my teammates here. Maybe get this guy down to his last stand if I can. There we go. A lot of players on that uh, that right side. I can see from this side. There we go. Finally. Okay, so you know what? I think I need to drop in here. Probably on this side with the Fury. Let's do that right now. There's someone around here. Oh, here we go. Got to get onto this beacon. Gonna take this guy out. Come on. What would I strike? Whoosh. Oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> Only just barely. We lost that beacon, though. Guys, we need another beacon elsewhere. You know what? I think, I think I'm going to go this way. We need to go for another beacon quickly here. I'm trying to curve, uh, curve my bullets around that corner. Maybe let's do it on this side. I think he's going to kill me. Oh, shoot. Ah. <laughs> he got me. Man, we're losing all our beacons. What the heck? Guys! Oh man, I was gonna try to 
Can we get... Oh, jeez. Only just barely. We can still get this beacon. We gotta get it, though. Come on, guys. Get it. Uh, what would I strike over there on that side? If I can get this guy. I think I got him down to his last stand. But I'm trying to hold... Yes, we got it. We got it. Okay, now the trick is to hold this down. They have that... Man, that Favnir. Um, I think he's pretty charged too. But you know what? Let's drop in here with the uh, Behemoth. Let's get rid of that guy. And we're gonna set up shop over here. Take out that player. Someone's using orbital strikes on me. Holy crap. <laughs> nope. Guys, I'm gonna need some help here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I need to heal, 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 heal! Where is this guy? Come on! Guys, take him out! Shoot my health. Trying to get any target I can possibly get right now. This guy's gonna be landing here soon. So if I can get uh, some damage in on him. Um, let's do that. Come on, come on, come on. Last stand on him. The heck? Someone above us. This guy's trying to push me. Take him out. What would I strike over there? Whoosh. Man, they got our other beacon too. <laughs> I'm trying to hold this. I'm trying to hold this down. My behemoth is almost dead. Yes, we got Titan Slayer. Oh, shoot, guys. Save me. Man, we need to get this beacon here. Get that beacon. Quick, quick, quick. Then I can drop in with the Miramets and take this guy out. Come on. Come on. Get it quickly. Hurry. <laughs> There's a Titan here, I think. We're going to drop in with this. Holy shoot. I think I EMP. Yes, we got him. We got him with the EMP. But the thing is, I got to move back here. I think he can still get me. There we go. This guy. Can we get him? Guys, we need to get... We need to get that beacon quickly. Gonna hit him with an EMP. Um, we're running out of time. I still have my Favnir, but uh, this guy can totally kill me. We need to get... We need to... Oh, wait. I think he killed his bot. He killed his bot. Um, we're gonna do that. Ah, shoot. We need to move over to this side here quickly. Get this guy down to his last stand. I'm trying to fly over to this beacon. If I can get this beacon... Hopefully no one drops in here with a titan. Can we get it? Um... Oh crap! Oh, but I'll strike! Guys, we've got a 4 cap! Oh my gosh, this is like so intense. Where's that Nodent? He's got to heal me. Um, we're gonna do that. Hold on. I had to get off that beacon. I kind of EMP'd him, hoping that would help so he can't heal up. Yes! Come on, come on, come on. Let's take him out. On that side, orbital strike! Which? Okay, wait, I need to kill this. We need to get another beacon quickly. Let's use the, the Favnir. Take out this player. Quickly. I need to get onto this beacon. Man, time is running out here. We need to get this beacon quickly. Come on, guys. Oh, this is a problem with this build. It's not good at close range. Come on, come on, come on. Man, what a close game. Man, that was really good. Yeah, so one of the things with that Favnir build is it, 
you know, designed to do a lot of damage uh, from medium range, but at close range, not so good. So 8.5 million, 9 kills, 5 beacons. Man, that was a really intense game. Really well played, Reds. Now we're going to take a look at the next dream hang here coming from Vink. I hope I got your name correct. Apologies if I didn't. And uh, Vink is saying that he is building this hangar. It's called Useful or Useless. So we have the Fenrir, Revenant, Typhon, Favnia, Hawk. And uh, what's interesting, the Miramets once again. But this time, uh, we've got the Shotgun Miramets. So I'm going to go ahead, build that hangar up, and then show you what I have in terms of pilot skills and modules before we jump into game number two. Okay, so let's take a look at Vink's hangar. So we have the Fenrir with the punch igniters. We've got nuclear amplifier, repair amplifier, balance unit, advanced repair. We also have the following skills and I highly recommend the Bernadette Wolf pilot for the Fenrir. Definitely the best pilot for this bot. Um, you know, what kind of changes would I make to the Fenrir or at least this build here? If I was doing the flamethrower build, uh, probably Ember igniter or Bane igniters I think could work really well or even Bane Venom. Um, if you are focusing on the punches though, um, you know, punches with Razdor or even Smooter, Razdor could work really well. Um, modules, maybe two nuclear amplifiers with a repair amplifier. So I think that's, you know, the changes I would make to this build. We have the Revenant with the Bane and Toxin. So here are the modules. And also Medianarium. This is more just to boost the damage of uh, the corrosion weapons. So what kind of changes? Uh, probably two nuclear amplifiers and a repair amplifier for this build. But another option too is to use, uh, you know, perhaps the puncher. You could try that as well. We've got the uh, Typhon with Havoc. This is a very deadly build. So if I can get this to work, it can actually do a ton of damage. Uh, make sure you have the sharpshooter as well. We've got the Favnia with the uh, Scaddy weapons. So here's the modules. Now, in terms of leveling up the Favnia, knowing that, uh, you know, this thing's going to get nerfed, I don't think I would level it up uh, too much. I think the weapons might still be okay, but, uh, you know, the Favnia itself is going to get a pretty big hit. We've got the uh, Hawk here with the Hell and Snare weapons. Okay, so, you know, what would I change here? Probably two nuclear amplifiers with a last stand. Uh, definitely Shield Breaker. And another very powerful build for the Hawk is the Smooter and Kramler weapons. Uh, so the new weapons. We also have the Miramets here with the uh, shotgun setup. So the uh, Squall and Grom. Now, uh, this kind of build, I think I would rather use Basilisk Crate or even Vengeance Retaliators. I think could work a lot better than this build here because uh, the Miramets by itself is actually pretty squishy. So for me to actually do any damage with this, I need to basically drop in on you know my opponent so i don't think i would do this uh, probably vengeance retaliators or basilisk crate i think would be my top choice uh, for the miramets so anyways we're gonna jump into the second game and uh, we're gonna see how we do with bink's hangar okay so game two we have dropped in on springfield map i have started with the uh, revenant here <laughs> we got the bad spawn again so i'm not sure how this is gonna go um, okay, so I'm gonna, you know what, I tried to teleport to that guy in center there, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get, uh, get there in time. So we're gonna actually attack here on this side. Maybe we can get their home beacon. Let's try. They all got off the, uh, the beacon, so that's good for us. And we might be changing it. Are we going to get it? Yes, we got it. Okay, so we got we got their home beacon. This is really good. I'm um, trying to focus down this player here. Here we go. And this one over there. I have to hold this beacon down because um, this is the uh, third beacon. Okay, so this guy keeps hiding there. Have fun with that orbital strike! Whoosh! Might even kill him actually. 
Okay, so we have three beacons here. I'm hoping that my teammates can hold this down. And if they drop in with Titans, I can always drop in with that uh, Miramit. Guys, you got to get onto this beacon here. Otherwise, I'm going to lose it. Uh-oh. Got a, we got a shell. As long as we stay on this beacon. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm going to need a heal quickly. There we go. That's going to kill this guy, I think, right? Come on. Oh my gosh. Man, this Revenant is a beast. Oh, they just dropped in with an Arthur. That's good news for us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's so many guys here. I think we're trying to get a, a fourth beacon. Now this guy's going to end up going down. Let's put the uh, Orbital Strike over there. Oh man, that guy. Holy crap. The whole team is here. We took out another player. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, maybe the... Let's use a Fenrir. <laughs> There's so much going on here. <laughs> this is what happens when you give up your home beacon. But I mean, this could also backfire on us. We could end up losing all our bots. So we have to kind of be careful here. We might be getting a fourth... No, they're getting it back. Just trying to hold this beacon down for as long as possible. You gotta keep in mind, we got actually the bad spawn on this map, so... Even more reason why I should keep this beacon. We're gonna use the orbital strike on someone. Maybe that guy. Come on, come on, come on! Ah! <laughs> it's taking them a while to kill this Fenrir. Good thing we had two tanks in our hangar. Oh shoot, I didn't even see this guy. I think we're gonna kill him. His health is dropping. Yes! They still have a lot of bots though. I'm trying to get this Fenrir. Or uh, Favnir rather. Uh... Okay, this is not... This is not good. You know what? Uh, can I... Oh! Where's my control? We need to drop in with the... Uh, the Miramids right here. Yes! Here we go, guys! Oh! What the heck is that? This can't be good. What is this? Oh, shoot. Ah! <laughs> Let's get these guys. I EMP'd all of them. I need, I need my flight. Uh-oh. Let's get that guy. I hit him with the EMP. Yes! Titan Slayer! I think I might have charged up the farm near there, though. <laughs> but hey, you know what? It worked. Um, let's try to take out... Oh, come on. I'm going to take out this guy here. Using the shield breaker. Oh, come on. He has a... Uh, he has cloak. <laughs> oh. You know what? This game's actually a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. If you take a look at how many players we have left and how many they have left... Let's just say it's not looking good. Um, we're going to take out this guy here. And that one. Uh-oh, hold on. Oh, shoot. Let's take this guy out. Man, this, uh, this game is actually pretty crazy. It's four versus six, but we have a huge beacon uh, lead here. This guy's going to kill me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on, hold on. I need to go in a flight. Shield breaker! That guy! 
Oh, but I'll strike! Oh, man. We have a couple of players now moving towards uh, the center here. Uh-oh. <laughs> man, this game is kind of crazy. It's like I'm like a one-man army here. Let's take that guy out. Get this guy down to his last stand. Hold on. We're gonna do that. Can we take him out? There we go. Can we, uh, can we actually pull away with a victory here? This is kind of, uh, kind of close. Oh, man. Bad, 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 bad. What is this guy in? I mean, they don't have a beacon bar left here. Wow. Now that was a game. <laughs> So I wasn't able to include a uh, gameplay of that Favnir. I'm going to show you gameplay of that. I was actually quite surprised that that Miramets uh, kind of worked on this map of all maps. So 9.5 million, 15 kills, one beacon in that game. Let's just move back here. You know what I can do is... Let's just try to take out this shell. Going to use the orbital strike on him as well. Whoosh! This is going to do it. Look at his health. Ah, my last stand got triggered. Rampage. This one. Godlike. Let's move this way. Try to focus down some of these players as well. Beyond Godlike. Can we get another one? Can we get another one? Living Legend. Titan Slayer, come on, Titan Slayer. So thank you very much to Warbots and to Vink for your dream hangers. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay for them. And once again, to everyone else, if you would like a chance to be featured in a future dream hangers video, make sure to post your dream hangers in the comment section down below. And don't forget guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the rest of this dream hanger series by going to playlist and finding dream hangers. We have over 100 episodes. I'm um, a lot of fun, different themes, and also I try to help out players with their hangers, just like this episode. Make sure to check it out, and I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching, and until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.